We start with a scary situation today in Eureka. Five people accused of stealing cars led police on a chase all morning long. In the end, two police officers were hurt, multiple cars were damaged, and most of the suspects arrested. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kelly Jackson. Five on your side's Justina Coronel has been following this developing story for most of the day. She is live at the Eureka Police Department with the latest. Yeah, yeah, Kelly. So there are a total of five suspects. Four have already been arrested earlier today, and three of those suspects are juveniles. So that means one is still on the loose. Apparently, it was a pretty crazy day in the neighborhood. It wasn't your typical morning in the Marisol neighborhood in Eureka. Rich Evans was outside when chaos drove by. I was standing right in the driveway here, and uh, a car came uh, at high speed, about 40, 45 miles an hour, running up this uh, street. At the time, he didn't realize thieves had been hitting his neighborhood all morning long. The Eureka Police Department and Jefferson County Sheriff's Department were notified early Tuesday that several suspects were rummaging through cars. Several items were stolen along with the vehicle um, was stolen. So when Evans got outside, his car was still there, but soon it get hit too. He saw police chase a stolen car. They both take off this way, but the guy driving the car at high speed didn't quite make the turn and ran into my car. However, the crooks didn't stop there. A few hours later, the stolen vehicle was spotted at a busy intersection on 109 and 4th. The officer attempted to initiate a traffic stop. There's a heavy uh, amount of traffic, large amount of traffic in the area. At the same time, a high school resource officer was in the area. He tried to help by pulling in front of the stolen car, but the suspects decided to escape and ended up hitting the school resource officer's car and hit the officer with the stolen car. They eventually dumped the car and ran away by foot. We do believe that it's a local um, group that's operating that's been uh, hitting our area. It's not your neighborhood kid down the street stealing change. I mean, these, these individuals were willing to hurt a police officer. They did that. They're looking for firearms and valuables. While this isn't your average day, Evan says, this isn't anything new. They go up and down the street and they try all the, all the cars. Police believe that the lone suspect is no longer in the area. As far as the officers were told, they're doing okay. Reporting live, Justina Cornell. Five on your side.